Hey guys, welcome back. So I'm making, which I'm already have done, I'm making some tamarind soda. And I thought, well, I'll go ahead and show you guys how I do it. So here's my clean. I've already started and made some, so I have to make more. So I'm just going to go ahead and record this for you guys. So we're adding this batch will be two... Uh, Pierre water 16.9 ounces so we've got two of those going this is the Pierre's guys okay so next oh so if you guys live by sprouts I got this at sprouts and um, if you guys are near sprouts I would hop over there because I I don't know if your sprouts will have it, but mine had it for uh, $5.99 on clearance, and it's organic. Okay, so that was really a good deal. There was three of them. I went ahead and just grabbed all three of them because I'll probably never see it for that price again. So now I'm going to take my paste, well, puree. It's tamarind puree. Now, guys, this is the sour one, so it's not sweet at all. So, um, I'm going to use, well, I think maybe in a little bit more. So, about three teaspoons, you guys. And then we'll just stir it and get it going. Then I've got my date syrup, which if you guys don't have date syrup, I'm going to do probably three good squeezes. Um... If you don't have date syrup, that's okay. You can um, use agave. I've had it both ways, and it's fine with the date or the agave. Now, the most important thing is, is your key lime. So I have in here two full um, strained. So there's no pulp, no seeds key limes in there and I just added that in there so you have to make sure not only do you make sure there's no seeds please make sure there's no pulp so you want to strain it completely so and then we just give it a good mix and as you can see it's really carbonated and just keep mixing it up so here you guys I got these at the Dollar Tree which I'm super excited about because I can, you know, make sodas, I can make dressings, and keep it airtight. And as you can see, I labeled, I've got some in the background, I've labeled them. And so, and I've got a funnel. So I'm just going to go ahead and pour in here with the funnel and get that going and pull it out because it's starting to fizz up a little bit and wait for it just to kind of settle because it did pull up a little bit and just wait for it to chill out And in the meantime, while that one's kind of defizzing, I'm going to go ahead and put this in. So, the Dollar Tree didn't have very many of these. I just, they're just regular labels, guys. I'm just putting labels so I know what's in it. Or so other people, not just myself, of course I know what's in it, but other people will know. Because I make a ginger soda i make a sprite soda i make a tamarind sprite soda which that's kind of what this is with the key lime you can just do tamarind you don't have to you can just do tamarind in pure water you don't even have to add if you get the sweet tamarind so just all whatever combination and however you're doing it what kind of combination you're 
using. And then we're just going to go ahead and pour this one in there. But what's nice about these glass individuals is, you know, other people can see what it is and just grab it out of the refrigerator now that it's starting to warm up where I'm at and um, keeping it sealed so like the carbonation will stay a little bit better. Now that one I'm just going to let it sit. So this one has definitely chilled out some now that I let it sit. If I know that, there we go, perfect. If I know that if I were to make a whole pitcher in this glass pitcher, if I were to make a whole amount, I would want it drank the, within that day because then otherwise it will go flat, you guys. You want some of that carbonation to make it like an actual soda pop. So, my label's not sticking on this one. I wonder why. Oh, because it got a little wet. So I'll dry it off and restick it. But the main thing is, you guys, you can be making your own sodas, uh, especially like a ginger ale. There we go. That's better. Um, you could be making um, like a Sprite slash ginger ale. And then I'm just going to go ahead and start sealing these with the lids. Oh, this one I need to fill up a little bit more. And... You know, I mean, if you guys are transitioning and, you know, not 100% alkaline, but you're vegan or you're trying to transition, if you want to add a little bit of vanilla extract to this, you can if you're, you know, in the process of transitioning. You can, you can do that just a little bit, not a lot, just a little bit, or... You could add like some Ceylon cinnamon uh, if you want. You could do that too. Uh, actually, I'm going to add Ceylon to one of these and, and to some of this and try it and see how that tastes. Because I have not done that. It'll be a first for me myself. So I'll do that with what's left in here. But anyways, guys, I just wanted to share this. So these bottles, you can get them at the Dollar Tree, at least my Dollar Tree. So I'm going to go back and get some more and stock up because I can then start making my ginger ales and my Sprites and now my tamarind soda. So uh, with summer coming, this will be great. And you just want to consume it within three days so you're not worrying about any type of fermentation. Okay, guys? And uh, jump over to Sprouts if you have one and check out and see if they have the puree on the clearance rack like mine did. Alright guys, well thanks for tuning in and I hope you have a great day. And make sure you like and subscribe and definitely share this with anyone who misses having soda and transitioning or already alkaline. Have a great evening. Bye.